Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Finley's History Tours. Today we're at St. Leonard's Church in Hythe to explore the church and the ossuary. Today's video is a long one. Hythe Church was first mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086 as a Saxon building. St. Leonard's Church features a large amount of graffiti on the stonework, much of which is a historical interest. Several archbishops of Canterbury held an estate near Saltwood and may have approved the church's enlargement in the 12th century, possibly used the same craftsmen that were building Canterbury Cathedral. In the south aisle, a stained glass window commemorating the second lieutenant Robert Hilliard, who was killed in the Battle of Somme in 1916. stained glass window at the east of the church was installed in 1951 after an early one was destroyed by a German bomb in World War II. Features from the Norman era can still be seen, the arches in the south aisle and in the choir vestry. By the early 13th century the church had enlarged again and in the 14th century a tower was built. During the Reformation, much of the interior was destroyed on King Henry VIII's orders. The organ was built in 1936 by Harrison and Harrison. It is the largest in the church since the 15th century. from the 11th century or 12th century has a face carved in it with its tongue sticking out as a rude gesture to the councillors and politicians who use the building for their meetings instead of its intended purpose of a church. Mackinson's Brewery was founded in Hive in the early 1900s and the family burial vault is next to the road. I think I found it. Coming in, please. The crypt or ossuary is open during the spring and summer for a small fee. 
St. Leonard's Church has the largest and best preserved collection of ancient human skulls and bones in Britain. 1,000 skulls in total and a single stack of bones and skulls measuring 7.5 metres in length, 1.8 metres in width and 1.8 metres in height, possibly the remains of 2,000 people. There are few explanations for the bones, but it seems no one is sure. They are likely to have been dug up when the church was extended over time. Some may have come from other locations in the area. Some of the bones show signs of disease and injury. Many are thought to be over 600 years old. They have been studied many times by researchers and scientists. Someone got hit by part of the floor or something. In 1739, the tower collapsed. Maybe after being damaged from a large earthquake in the late 1500s, it was rebuilt a few years later.
If you like my video, please like and subscribe and share and comment. Thanks for watching.